<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's like period five. Super excited to be here. <laughs> Doing notes in class. Room 202, San Clemente High School. It's like the epicenter. Everything that's happening is happening here. It's happening now. Okay, I think we're going to be okay. Let's get to it. Uh, what color should we do? Oh. Purple. All right, everyone say hi. Fifth period, what's up? Give a shout out. No. <laughs> All right, thank you. Here we go. All right, so we're completing the square. When we complete the square, we want to get our X terms uh, grouped, and we kind of want to get our Y terms grouped. So we're going to use uh, purple for the X, and let's go red. red. Uh, there's no red. That's pink. Uh, there's blue for uh, the Y squared plus 8Y. Okay? So here we go. We're going to try and separate these. Now, complete the square means I want it to look like a squared binomial. You're going to see what I mean in a second. And to do that, I want to go ahead and separate these out, give them a little bit more space. So I'm going to write x squared minus 4x, and I'm going to leave a space. That space is for me to complete it. Again, it's called complete the square, so I'm trying to complete the problem. This is going to be y squared plus 8y, leave a space. And then the 11 is going to just be all by himself or herself. Okay. Okay. Itself. I don't know. I guess numbers don't have gender. I'm not sure. Anyways. Um, <clears throat> hey, you're in a video, a live video. You want to say hi? <laughs> it's on the screen. What's your name? Uh, uh, Curran. Curran. Yeah. That's cool. What's up? Okay, I'm going to pause the video here. All right, we're back. Okay, sorry about that. I had to sign some stuff. I'm really famous. What can I say? Here we go. All right. We want to fill in what goes in here. What goes in here is actually what we call b over 2 squared. Okay, you might recall this from Algebra 2 or the video you watched last night. The b term is right in front of the single variable. So there's an x and an x squared. The b term's in front of the x. Okay? So what we're going to do here is we're just going to take the b, which is negative 4, and we're going to divide it by 2, and then we're going to square it. Negative 4 divided by 2. Can someone help me out? Raise your hand. Jerry Rock. Negative 2. <coughs> and what's negative 2 squared? 4. 4. Okay, so whatever I add to one side class, I? Add, add to the other. other. All right. <laughs> all right. I did the all right, so you know. Okay. <laughs> Next, we're going to take 8, divide it by 2, and square it. Can someone please tell me what happens when I do 8 divided by 2 and squared? Raise your hand. Natalie? 16. 16, so we're going to add 16. Ooh, yeah. All right. All right, let's go ahead and evaluate the right side of the equation. Notice how when I did one side, I had to add to the other side. A lot of my students in my previous classes were, were mixing that up in their IC. Uh, so what do I get when I do negative uh, 11 plus 4 plus 16? Raise your hand if you know it. Chase? That would be positive 9. Nice job. Okay. All right, now we want our squared binomials. Okay. <laughs> Womp, womp, womp. All right. Uh, do you notice that x squared minus 4x plus 4, we could x factor, right, back into algebra? Anyone know what two numbers multiply to give me 4, but add to give me a negative 4? Anyone could help me out with that? <coughs> Someone new. Multiply two numbers that multiply to give me 4, but add to give me a negative 4. Uh, Gavin. Negative 2 and 2. Negative 2 and negative 2. So we only have to write it once. See how it's x negative 2 squared? Instead of writing x negative 2, x negative 2, that's why it's a square binomial. Now, the faster way we could do this is we could recognize that this number is always going to be half of that number. Do you see that? Okay. So when I go to the next problem, it should be y what? Yes, Shawnee. Y plus 4. You got it. Okay. Notice... 4 is half of the value of b, right? And we can double check and make sure this works. 4 times 4 is 16, correct? Yes. 4 plus 4 is 8. That checks. We're good. What does this look like? Raise your hand. What does this look like? It should look like something we've, we've dealt with. Caesar? No. We did, we did this all day yesterday. What does this look like? It's in the form of. What does this look like? It's in the form of. Come on, fifth period. You're on the spot. Okay, Jake. 
Standard equation of a circle. Jake, do you think you could tell me what the center is? Two negative four. Nice job. You pick out the opposites. Excellent. And anyone know what the radius is? Sounds Greek when you say it that way. Lindsay? Three. Take the square root of it because it's R squared, right? Excellent. Any questions on this? Okay. We're not graphing. We're just pulling out the center radius. We're done. Okay. All right. We're going to do a second problem. Are you guys ready? Can I Can I hear? Are you ready? Can I hear a woo woo? Can I hear a woo woo? I really hope it didn't pick up that on the audio. Okay, uh, I'm going to clear the screen. You ready? All right, everything that's up here is now going to disappear. Except for this. It's okay. No problem. All right, here we go. Uh, next example, here we go. Ooh, orange. Shawnee, no talking. All right, cool, cool. Okay, so uh, we have a dilemma here. Chase? Uh, you have to get 96 on the side. Yeah, we got to get any whole numbers on the other side. Okay, so we're first going to get rid of that 96. Okay, that's going to go away. Now we should have everything organized. It kind of actually looks like it is kind of organized already. But I'm going to leave a space because I got to complete the square. And I'm going to leave a space because I got to complete the square. That equals a negative 96. You guys know yawning? This is really entertaining. It's rude. All right, we got b over 2. We're going to square it. We're going to do this a little bit faster. I'm not going to write it out. We'll just put it in. Can I get a help in hand? What would I put in the first box? I need someone new. Rachel? Yeah, but you got to like do the math. <laughs> Okay, 8 over 2 squared would be a positive 16. Whatever I do to one side, I do what? To enter. To the other side. Nice. Okay, next one. What am I going to put on the other side? Someone new. Noah. 81. Nice. I get half of 18 is 9. 9 squared is 81. Add to the other side. Excelente. Okay, 90, negative 96 plus 16 plus 81. What number do I get? Raise your hand. Come on, you can be famous. I'm going to say your name. Wait, what? <coughs> okay, you're going to, like, what's, what is all this added together? Raise your hand. Oh. Cambria. One is the correct answer. Good job. Okay. All right, let's get our binomials set up. Okay, we know that there's an X and there's a Y. Let's go ahead and find the numbers that we're going to put inside. So now I get a little help from somebody. Anybody? J Rock? Four plus one. Okay, so four. And then over here, what are we going to get for the right side? Someone help me out. Again, we got that four. It's half of eight. Four times four is 16. Four plus four is eight. Jake? Nine. Nine, nine times nine is 81. Nine plus nine is 18. Very good. Last step. Let's use this puke green. Okay, can I get a little help for the center? Okay, someone new. Uh, Caesar, redemption. <laughs> no, Caesar. Austin, take the opposite. Oh yeah, that's right. Radius. What do I get? Yes. One. One. All right, there it is. Okay, so we have finished the problem. If you need assistance, you're going to watch these tonight again, um, and we're going to go over our worksheet in a second. Before we do that, it is drawing time. Okay, raise your hand if you have a suggestion for a picture. Okay. Shawnee? A dinosaur? All right, let's see what else. Gavin, let me see your shirt. Okay. What is that from? Uh, I don't know. Sure. To the back of the jerk shirt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm getting ideas. I'm going to try and meld them all together. Yeah. What? 
Okay, Grant. Do a dinosaur. Grant with awesome. What? You want to draw myself? Yes. Okay. And last one. SpongeBob. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Who's mainstream? Oh, no. The dinosaur. It looks like uh, it's a dinosaur. Why are you doing it the gross color? Oh, God. This is red. Hey, hey, quiet, please. This is a work of art. Okay. There's scales on it. Scales. Yeah, it has to look exactly like the other people's picture, so. I, I'm really happy with that dinosaur. Oh, my. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, Make us body a rocket and then Austin's biceps come in. But what about Grant? Oh, yeah. Oh. Why? No photo. We got some veins popping out. Yeah, do some more. It's like he's singing. Can you have an extra? No extra big either. He only has one arm. <laughs> it's over here. It's over here. It's over here. You can't see it. He's 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 walking away. Okay. Okay. This is a work of art. What? Oh. It looks like a chick. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to do the the picture on. Like oh wait, that looks like a girl from SpongeBob. <laughs> 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 they have like octopus legs. It's not a rocket. It's a rocket. It's a rocket. Put jetpack on his shoes, like. Yeah, like a jet. Oh, it's one of the shorts. Copy body formula. What's the rocket? I don't know what a SpongeBob's legs look like. Yeah, they're like thin. They're like he has black shoes. Do yellow, like straight down things. Is this the best one? No, I can't see it. I have like fire supply and like gas. I don't really know what his feet look like. Yeah, like that. Okay. Why do you have dots on his No. Oh, it's just like in the middle. It's up there. Oh. drawing Oh, God. Oh no. Please no. Oh, he's drawing a weight. He's drawing a weight. Oh no. Can't see it. Can't see it. And then, uh, do the light. It's a rum. Oh, I couldn't see it. It's Grant. It's Grant. Oh, that's so easy. Who is that? No, it's Grant. Wow. He's like, he got sick and dry. What? Oh. Oh. He's, he's like, sad. He's like looking down the floor. Exactly. He was eating my sandwich. A sponge. That's yeah. dinosaur. A sponge I guess no one's going to choose with it. It's my curly hair. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyebrows. <laughs> Are you making diagonals now? That looks like Jared. <laughs> yeah. That's so Jared. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you make that nose so nice? Like, <laughs> not like looks like yours, but. Do you have a big nose? I have a no. <coughs> I have no big friends. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a chair. Yeah, this is a chair. Fries. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there you go. <laughs>